Hello there, this is Tom. And um, I found a fix to my um, uh, energy reader program. And I just need to check her because I need to thank. Uh, what's his name again? Um, I need to open my mail to find this name. Um, um, it's I V I R Sabo, but I think it's meant to be Mr. Sabo. And I need to thank him for pointing something out today about the uh, RF reader program that actually m fixed it. So instead of just updating it and not telling anyone, I decided to actually get this series going and see what's happening. So welcome to Pure Computer Craft. I know it's been a while. Uh, I'm just gonna place down a few things here. Uh, and I need this. I need this to be somewhere else. I need some room just to show you uh, what I've been working on a little bit today with and what my plans are and how we can work it out, kinda. Okay, that should be it. So, paste. First, I'm just gonna get the original version. Okay, 5. Each bay install. Oh, shit. Installer. Installer. Uh, and yes, I am agreeing, and it's getting everything. And then we have to open the development version, which will take 20 seconds or so. While that's going, we can connect everything up, so... Like so, and this, 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 and this, because... Um, uh, while I'm working, um, these two is just gonna work as an input and output. Uh, I'm getting really bad frame rate here. One is black, one is grey. Yes, I'm sure. Um oh there's some in here. Oh that's wrong of course. Here we go. And then we're just gonna run it. Uh, file exist, okay. That's not good. Uh, P How many energy cells? We have four. I haven't changed that yet. I should have. Should be zero, one, two, and three. Zero, one, two, and three. Horizontal is one. And that should be zero. And that should be one. So zero, one, one. And it should be development version now, hopefully. it has to update because for some reason it didn't uh, yeah there we go so I basically got this back up and running with the, the 2.2 development version so if I started outputting there you can Stop it here. You can see energy is flowing into the system, and 
Um, it will fill up in about eight minutes. And I did reconfigure stuff. Okay, so as you can see, it's it's working now, but. I really want to make some changes here. I have some ideas for stuff I want to work in and I want to add some more things like implement in the um, what's, what's they called again? Thermal glasses. I don't remember how to use the thermal glasses bridge though. And also this thing I have over here. The frame rate is really bad right now. Um, the speaker, which I just have hooked up here to tell me when when the uh, the steam tank is full and when it's empty and when it's recharging and stuff like that because I I'm not producing enough enough steam compared to how much I. Okay, so we're basically two days ahead now. I spent most of um, Saturday night. Um, programming and I actually ended up reworking and changing a lot of things on the RF reader program. Uh, now there's a lot more logic to the system. So for instance if I run the peripheral program not now it's just done. No asking for like how many horizontal monitors and how many um, vertical monitors or even how many uh, energy cells it will actually detect it itself with um, something called peripheral dot get names and you can see that it will list all the peripherals connected to um, to the commu computer this makes it so I can have more computers, uh, no I mean more <coughs> peripherals, like, um, let's just run a clear, term.clear is it, <coughs> no, um, <coughs> as you can see it, it will detect all kinds of, uh, of um, energy cells. And I also did and take that as a consideration in the peripheral program. <coughs> My voice is not good today. Um, so it will find... Um, it will look for um, um, a string in the peripherals called tile, which is those you saw before. And that will determine for it knowing it's an energy cell. Basically, it will just look for a basic, a hardened, a reinforced, and a re a resonant energy cell. And it will just wrap peripherals based on that. So, it will basically, it, I made it so that um, basic energy cell will have all the basics. Um, basic energy cell peripherals and hardened energy cell will contain all the peripherals for hardened energy cells and so on. Uh, basic is just leadstone. And the same with the monitors. If I go, it will look for the monitor in the peripheral name and it will. Oh, this code is messy here. I'm using Notepad, I think, for editing. <coughs> Uh, so it looks kind of messy here, but um, um, it will look for the monitor uh, inside the peripheral string, and if it is, it will uh, wrap it. But also, I made it so it will split it depending on the x and y coordinates. So if the x is longer than y, like it's here, it will be a horizontal monitor. And if it's um, um, if y is longer than x, like here, it will be a vertical monitor. And um, it basically just um, it it's some logic calculations and 
a lot of variables and um, the program is actually shorter I, I think it's like three times shorter than uh, than uh, the original P program and the var is just now calculating the max uh, I can show you by running the energy reader program now <coughs> so like the max is dependent on how um, how many that that's that are connected so if I for instance this not disconnecting that but disconnecting these and of course that messed up some things you will see it changed uh, from because now it's just calculating the max from these and not these um, I'm actually trying to figure out how I can make it so I can connect and disconnect things um, but then I think I have to have everything on the same program and in the same loop uh, which I'm actually considering doing because uh, I find it smart to do it like how I did but I can't do that here so I'm just gonna experiment a little more and uh, I'll be right back when I have some more to show you okay so I'm basically done with the simple concept here I just ended up making everything uh, into one program so if I edit TRFR. It's like it's the peripheral, the variable, the function, and the energy reader program in one. Um, uh, however, I had a problem while I try uh, try to add it to EBOS where it kind of messed up the peripherals and stuff. So uh, I think I need to make a separate EBOS or even actually make ebos um like not more more than just a concept for it uh so for now the development version if you are in ebos and you open development version you will get a 1.7 that will work with 1.7 and uh, you can use the old version by not using the development version but I need to make like more than just a concept for ebos or make a better startup function. Uh, for for some reason, I feel like a lot of people don't find ebos as convenient, and not even I find it as convenient. So I am actually considering just removing it. But if you have any thoughts about that, just let me know, and uh, I'll take the suggestions. I don't know how long this is or how long um, I'm even gonna make it but I feel like I've done what I intended to do uh, or even more because I rewrote everything um, and this is like now open for like adding new peripherals and uh, stuff so um, uh, should be able to to uh, figure out or work so I'm gonna test it on my steam power and that should be it so let's see if this is working and well yeah it's working it's producing is it set to right by the way steam power it's producing about 80 almost 90,000 RF per second and uh, oh no the steam is here and I can confirm that this is dropping and uh, everything seems to be all right except my frame rate uh, so I am gonna work on a way to get that 
working and available for you guys. Uh, looks like the, the power is inconsistent. Huh. This is so messy, I'm actually working on moving. Um, moving uh, to another location just because of how how badly planned this base was um, that one okay so um, oh yeah it has some there's more than one energy cell here and it's trying to recharge them all and recharge everything and it's just a whole mess. Um, but uh, it should be stable it looks like. It's like weird and stuff. I haven't actually hooked uh, my RF reader program to uh, set up in like a year um, but we have it's like 50,000 15,000 RF per second it's not consistent but it's it's stable uh, Did this start to drain? Yes, it started to drain. Okay. So I'm gonna take it apart from here now. And I think I'm basically just gonna end it. So um, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this uh, pure computer craft. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this series work a little better, but I think I'm gonna start recording from it uh, when I set up the new base because this is just a world I've been playing on for the last month or so and it's um, yeah I wanted to get far and start like where I can start program instead of um, instead of like um, from the beginning and little programming and I wanted to make something else in a regular Minecraft let's play so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys later if you enjoy this bye bye